hello and welcome to my channel my name is Freddy so um, if I were to tell you what was my favorite book in the month of August this year I would say it's this book a fine balance by Rohinton mystery and um, okay this book was uh, was incredible <laughs> um, I actually read this book as part of a um, group read organized by Jotsna and it was my first time joining a group read and so I actually felt a little bit intimidated um, you know I had a little bit of uh, apprehension prior to joining the Voxer chat and actually prior to uh, the month of group read uh, Jotsna actually had a video announcing you know the the books that uh, were going to be uh, uh, read for the group read she had a poll I actually voted in that poll. Um, I actually have not read any of the books that she had for the poll, but I, I don't know why. I don't know why. I just had a good feeling about this book. I had a good feeling about that. But I didn't know anything about this book. I didn't know anything about uh, Rohinton Mystery. I didn't even know what this book was going to be about. Seriously, I didn't even know the length. I just had a good feeling about it, and so I voted for it. And uh, and later it turned out that this book actually won, and I was kind of glad, even though, again, I didn't know anything about the book. I was just glad that the book that I chose won. <laughs> but um, by the time uh, the 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 winner of that poll was announced, I just kind of check uh, check out this book in uh, you know online, see what the book is about. And I was really, really surprised that the book was actually like a six, 600 page long book. And I was really scared. I didn't expect it to be this long. <laughs> and I didn't know if I were going to, if I were going to be able to finish a 600 page book within a month. Because I've never done that before. Seriously, I've never done that before. 600 page in a month. But I kind of did it. Because the group read was really great. It was really fun. And um, yeah, it was my first time with, uh, with a really nice uh, group read uh, uh, experience with uh, all the other participants. It was really incredible. And with the bonus that the book was surprisingly, you know, and pleasantly, um, you know, just, just, just plain awesome. Like, if you were to tell me that, you know, if, if, if a book or a story is going to contain, uh, you know, uh, the narrative about uh, a cast of characters who were so different from each other, and they found each other, and they were, like, really um, anxious about each other. They kind of have this prejudice, you know, between themselves. And then they kind of, live through things together and they form this unlikely bond, unlikely friendship or whatever, then, you know, I would be really, I would be really interested in reading that kind of story. A Fine Balance is about uh, this story of four individuals. Um, the story is set in, uh, in India uh, during the time when Indira Gandhi was the, was the, was the Prime Minister. And the um, and there were, at that time, you know, historically speaking, uh, there were some crazy things happening around, some uh, some chaos, uh, and then there were tension happening also, particularly between um, different groups of religion and races and um, classes, of course, and of course, case at the time, and so um, it is. In this kind of environment that we see our characters just kind of live their live their story in this book like I said there are four main characters four protagonists the first protagonist is actually uh, a woman named Dina Dina Dalal and she's actually a woman who uh, who is from the Parsi community and she lives in the city and when she is a young girl she actually uh, lost her parents and she's taken care of by her brother who is you know pretty much a patriarchal asshole and uh is in that kind of environment and she also faces all of this pressure to be uh to be married and to have a family 
and of course um, things kind of work well for her and uh, she got married but then something happened to her marriage and so she becomes alone and so for the most part of this book we see her as this uh, uh, kind of a woman who is alone and who is trying to be independent and uh, she also find a way to actually sustain herself and that is to kind of be a, a middle person um, providing uh, sewn, uh, sewn clothing that will be provided to a, a um, I think a clothing company and it is from there that she you know kind of set up shop and find a way to uh, sustain herself by earning some wage then we move on to the next characters and these characters actually kind of uh, walk around in pairs in this book they her their name is um, Ishwar and Om Ishwar is actually the uncle of Om and they come from the countryside the rural areas in India and they actually belong to the uh, Chamar community who is actually like the considered as the untouchable uh, case which is a uh, pretty low low in terms of uh, their class standing in society and so of course their lives were um, before the events of this story were extremely extremely difficult because they were living in poverty in the village and not only that they and alongside you know their fellow um, community members of the Chamar community they are also subjected to tons of class violence so much that it becomes kind of like a part of their lives and uh, when these two guys um, emigrate to the city by the time something really really bad already happened to their um, to their lives in the village I'm not gonna say what it is but pretty much the backstory of these guys uh, are really bad and so they migrated to the city and they they actually learned to become tailors and so they work where they work for Dina as as tailors who and you know for whom they will actually sew the clothes and Dina will actually um, pass the clothes to the clothing company and then we move on to the fourth character and he is the um, his name is Manik and he is actually uh, a student in this book a young student and he is from uh, the mountains and he actually ends up being a paying guest, uh, a lodger in Dina's house um, because he is studying at the university. And he comes from this uh, background where he is not exactly very poor, but at the same time, he is not also super rich. He's kind of like this, I would say, middle class kind of guy. And, uh, and he's staying there in the in the house of um, in Dina's house and it is there that he meets with uh, Om and Ishvar these these uh, these individuals from the village and because they are all in that house together you know they interact <laughs> they interact um, and you know initially they have all of these um, kind of uh, uneasy feeling towards one another Considering the fact that you know they they actually come from vastly different backgrounds, vastly different um, class. I think that's really important. They come from different classes in society, and we see how these characters they kind of interacted with each other, and in, you know together they kind of encountered things that um, were bad stuff in their lives, and slowly they become friends what i really like about this book is well of course it is a story about you know unlikely friendship unlikely relationship and so of course you know that is the kind of story that makes my legs feel like spaghetti but uh, aside from that i also really really like the way that uh, the author um, narrates this book i wouldn't say that the language is like super 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 flowery but it is uh, very casual, very accessible, really easy to read. And I think that's uh, that was why actually one of the reasons why I was able to kind of um, read this book really quickly. And one thing I noticed is that it, you know, the writing just feels so so cinematic. Like 
when I was reading this book, I can't help but to imagine whatever that is going on inside the book. And I think that really speaks volumes is, uh, in terms of how descriptive this book can get. And um, it feels like I am having this visual of a very well produced, <laughs> um, high budget um, mini series in my head. So whenever I read this book, and we divided this book in four sections for the group read, so it feels like I'm reading four, um, or you know, rather, I I was watching four episodes, four long episodes of this whole entire limited mini series, and it felt really good, and uh, I didn't actually feel like so exasperated by the kinds of details this book has. Uh, um, you know, instead the details they felt like really refreshing. It you constantly uh, being served something new in terms of experience in this book. Speaking of experience in this book, you know, this book is just pretty much a I would say a roller coaster when it comes to you know your 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 emotional state. Sometimes this book can get very very happy. <laughs> Really, it, it can get really happy, but then sometimes really, really shitty stuff happens in this book, and it would either make you squirm because the shitty stuff just is just so gory and violent. Okay, uh, this is kind of like a warning. <laughs> sometimes it can get really, really sad and heartbreaking because sad and heartbreaking stuff happen. And, you know, it's just a collection of so many ups and downs, ups and downs in this book. You know, by the time you finish reading this book, I think you're going to have like so many different kinds of emotions, you know, swimming inside you. I think that was how awesome this book was. And I think that's where this book, you know, um, it, 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 it just hits the spot. You know, the, the, the way that it plays with your feelings, the way that it plays with the reader's emotions, it really illustrates what this book really want to tell you. And I think uh, if you are able to kind of like get into this book or if you have read this book, you probably can kind of relate it to the title of this book, A Fine Balance. Now, I was kind of intrigued why this book was entitled A Fine Balance. And, you know based on my own experience reading this book, I could kind of say that, you know, when you, when you are walking through the, through the stories in this book, it feels like there is this really small um, balance that, you know, you could either tilt towards happy or you could tilt towards sad because all of those things that are just happening in this book, that are happening successively and quickly it just really it's just really hard to kind of um you know to catch up with it because things change so quickly in this book and so i just kind of want to share with you one of the passage that i think is you know really really nice and i would say relate to this kind of um flip floppy experience and how it really relates to the lives of the characters around here in this book. So um, here it is. Um, the proofreader nodded. You see, you cannot draw lines and compartments and refuse to budge beyond them. Sometimes you have to use your failures as stepping stones to success. You have to maintain a fine balance between hope and despair. He paused. Considering what he had just said, yes, he repeated, in the end, it's all a question of balance. I don't know, I just like that passage. You know, on top of that, it was actually the title drop. <laughs> so, um, I guess that's it for what I think about this book. Um, in short, this book is good. <laughs> so, um... If you have not read this book, or if you have it on your shelf, you should totally get it right away because 
uh, I think it's really good. Uh, so until then, I'll see you again in another video about book talk. And take care. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. I don't know. <laughs> don't touch people's faces. And yeah, see you again. Bye bye.